I'm at a customer's house and we did a little bit of a survey and I, I, I clamped over some branch circuits in the basement. We noticed there's some net current, which means there's an unequal amount of current going back to the panel from the same branch circuit. So it means it's traveling on another branch circuit. And I'm with my electrician here and he's going to explain exactly what we found here in the three switch outlet. So these two switches belong to one circuit. This switch belongs to another, but they're sharing their neutral. So the return current has two paths. It sees two paths back to the panel and you have net current when your current is unequal to what's coming in you need an equal amount coming in and going out but if they're sharing a neutral or excuse me if they're uh so is it is, is, so this is on right now right mm -hmm. could could we clamp over this for a second we have a, cl a clamp meter no, let's see if there's any net current we we'll clamp around those two right i'm gonna go downstairs and grab one here in, in a minute here, hold that with but uh Right, yeah, I'm just curious if we clamp over that would show the net current over that because I saw it done in my class. Well, it wouldn't show it if you're just clamping over the neutral. You got to clamp over a hot. neutral to hot. Yeah. Okay, then you can find out. Okay. Yes. But right now we know these are all branched together right now. Yeah. But They're what we tied should do together and they shouldn't be. Is we're going to take apart those neutrals. In fact, uh, Jason, do you want to find this breaker? Yeah. Or do you have your ticker? Yeah. Okay. I'll find the breaker. Um, there should be one circuit still on in that box. Yep. So let's turn that on. Okay. Then we'll All separate right. it. Yeah, that's... It's looking like that's a problem. Part of it, anyway. Yeah, so I've seen the, the neutrals bonded together many times. I saw a home out in Tennessee. It was a 100-year-old house, and he saw this nine different times in the house. That's it! So we turned off that branch circuit. So both circuits are off now. Okay. So so basically, we were able to use we were able to figure this out just by going down a breaker box and turning off different circuits down there to find out if it turned off one of these. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, um, need to break apart the neutrals, but I'm trying to find out where the hot wire is coming from. So this is the hot wire pigtailed to these two. This brought in its own hot, and it's and tied it's to several other. It's also passing power. So there's two neutrals we have to break away. This was the, this was the first circuit. This was the second one we turned off. They got two blacks, pigtailed to a black to power the switch. So they got power in, and they're passing power. But there's two neutrals that we got to take apart from these, mm -hmm. tie them together, and keep them okay. separate. Okay, so you can but take. But they them may apart. not be good neutrals, but we'll find out. Okay, so you can take them apart and yep. then maybe re re reconnect. Yeah, them you'll reconnect on their, neutral, on their two own. Two wads of neutrals. Okay. All right. Yeah, they can't. They can't be sharing. Okay. It's not. You can do that with ground. Cannot do it with a neutral, even though it's a grounded conductor. Yeah. Because it's a return path for current, and current needs to be corralled. Stay in your lane. Yeah, otherwise it takes all available paths. So then that yeah, puts it, your imbalance in current. Eric, how many how many homes do you think on the average? I mean, it's only like about one every two homes I go in there is some sort of a wiring error. What do you think it's... Well, I see a lot of wiring errors, but new, you know, neutrals from two circuits connected together, I don't see that... Too often, and I do a lot of remodels. We do yeah. 150 houses a well, year. We had one say. the other day. But we probably one out of every say 10 houses, maybe. Okay. Remember? All right. We had one at. Um, uh, but we do see it. No, it was at Village Me. So what I need to know now. I know the Building Biology Institute seemed like one of every two homes that we go into, we find some sort of a wiring problem. Yeah. yeah if it's not neutral from two different branch circuits, it might be. We might say neutral to ground. And maybe we're looking at a um, neutral to touch a chassis, maybe on another plane right. we have. Mm -hmm. about a blower, a blower motor. So this is one of those neutrals that belong to this setup here. This other one is right here. 